Hello. In this video, I'm going to explain how to make and use a custom shortcut menu using MS Access 2010 and VBA. A shortcut menu bar is what appears when you right click the mouse over a report or form. In this video, I'll be using a report. To save time, I already have an access file with a report that lists data from a pre existing table. I'll start by opening the report in Design View and opening its property sheet. In the other tab is where you'll find the shortcut menu bar property. If the property is blank, like it is here, a default shortcut menu will appear when a user right clicks the mouse on an open report. Let's see what that looks like. I'll close out of Design View and open the report. Now, when I right click, the default menu appears. This menu has many options users may not need to see, or on the flip side, it may be missing a custom option you'd like to include. Going back to Design View, we can add code to create a new shortcut menu. In the Onload event, I'll click the box with the three dots, select Code Builder, and click OK. This opens the VBA editor. To save time, I already created a subroutine that creates a custom shortcut menu with five menu options. As you can see, each menu option may be associated with a default action like print or save as PDF. Each menu option has a policy ID number. For example, print has a policy ID of 15948. You can download the Office 2010 Developer Resources file off the Internet. It contains an Excel file with a list of all access controls, aka menu options, and their policy ID numbers. Policy ID numbers can also be used to assign an icon to a menu option using Face ID. Because the Developer Resources Excel file does not include the icons associated with the policy IDs, I created an add-ins ribbon tab that contains roughly 3,000 icons and their IDs. I just hover over an icon and its corresponding ID appears. You can use the ID to assign an icon to a custom option in the shortcut menu. Once you've customized the code for your custom shortcut menu, simply type the name of the subroutine in the reports on load sub. The last step is to let the report know you want to use the shortcut menu. I'll copy the name assigned to the shortcut menu in the code, in my case VBA shortcut menu, and paste it in the shortcut menu bar property of the report. Now every time this specific report opens it will have its very own custom shortcut menu bar. Remember, you can replay any part of this video back if you'd like to see some information that you may have missed or that I may have gone over too quickly. For $1.35, you can also have the access file used in this video emailed to you. Just click the Buy Now link in the Details section of this video and type the email address you want the file sent to in the Special Instructions section on the PayPal screen. Of course, you can also just make a donation by clicking the donation link. Thanks for watching, and if you need help with other access coding, leave a comment, and I'll see if I can help.